Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part two of my co-wash, deep condition, and straightening routine. And um, this is just a little bit of an introduction. So yesterday you saw me co-wash, and I just co-washed with VO5's moisture milk. And then I rinsed that out. And then I mixed my deep conditioner. The deep conditioner I used was this one. And then I added some oils into that. You add your favorite oils, whether it be an essential oil or, I'm sorry, I'm not in focus. Add your favorite oils in there, whether it be essential oils or just regular 100% pure oils always use a hundred percent pure oils so you mix all that in your deep conditioner you don't have to use this deep conditioner you can use whatever deep conditioner you want and you mix it all together I applied it to my hair and then I sat on the dryer for 15 minutes now for a person in a hurry that's all the deep conditioning they need just under dryer for 15 minutes come out rinse it out and then continue the rest of your process however if you're like me and you needed some extra conditioning because you had a dry scalp dry hair you had a lot of flakiness on the scalp then I suggest um, leaving that conditioner on after you come out of the come from under the dryer so leaving it on for an additional 45 minutes to 3 hours or you could do what I did and leave it on overnight I thought that was best for me so I did an overnight treatment I still have my cap on and what I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna hop in a shower I'm gonna rinse this out and when I come back um, I'm gonna show you what else I did and what else I'm going to do so I'm just gonna do that right now and I'll be right back Alright y'all, I'm back and I, like I said before, I hopped in the shower. Let me get my camera in focus. I think that's good. Okay, so like I said, I hopped in the shower and I rinsed out my deep conditioner mixture. And then because I felt like I needed just a little added moisture because I believe this is a light protein treatment. So I wanted to condition whenever you protein your hair whenever you put in protein in your hair you want to then condition after because of that i went ahead and i put in my garnier fruities triple nutrition three minute dryness reversal treatment it's three minute undo that's what they call it a three minute undo dryness reversal treatment and i love this because it has three um nutritional fruit oils that it has avocado olive and shea so it's really moisturizing and good for your hair it says it makes your hair three times stronger three times healthier silkier and more radiant so I put that on my hair and then I combed it through with my shower comb see it has a little hook this comb always stays in my shower and I love this comb because it has let me see if you can see that it has these very soft bumpy ends so it doesn't scratch your scalp so I love this as a shower comb and I only use this in the shower and I just hook it right on the rail bam bam good to go rinse wash it when I'm done with it and I'm, I'm good Okay, so after you come through, you may have a little bit of shedding, and this is normal. The longer your hair, the more shedding you have. So if you have a little more shedding than this, don't worry. If you have a lot of shedding, then maybe you need to remove something in your regimen. You might be protein um, sensitive. You know, just figure out what you did that's new to your regimen and stop doing that because you should not have a lot of shedding much more than this is not good so um you just toss that out once you get out the shower and what i'm doing now is i'm taking 
my cloth, that same one that I used in part one, and I'm just drying my hair as much as possible. I'm just going all throughout my hair and drying as much as I possibly can. Uh, and then I'm going to wrap it with a little do rag like this. And you can purchase this from Amazon. And it's a little turban, and that's the name of it, turban twist. And I'm just going to put this on top of my head like so. And this really comes in handy because it dries your hair more. And allows you to do whatever else you need to do in your regimen. Wash your face, brush your teeth. And it has a little hook at the top, so after you've twisted it around like this, you hook it at the top, put it in a little hole, and you're good to go. So now, while your hair is drying, and you want your hair to be about 75% dry, before you put in your leave-in conditioner, I'm going to put also in a split ender to protect my ends because I am going to be using heat. I'm also going to be using a heat protectant, my favorite heat protectant ever. And then I'm going to be blow drying my hair and then lastly straightening my hair. And I will not be using a straightening comb. I haven't used a straightening comb since I was like 15 years old and I'm 28 by the way. So... I'm going to do that, but first I'm just going to let my hair dry, I'm going to wash my face, do whatever else I need to do, take care of business, and I'll be back to show you the last part of the process. So, I will see you then. Hi, real quick, I think I forgot to mention, after you put this on and comb it through, you leave it on for three minutes, and I would just use another clean shower cap, put it on top. So that you can go ahead and wash the rest of your body and get all squeaky clean. And then by the time you're done with that, it'll be time to rinse this out. So I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that. And then after you rinse that out, you can go ahead and get out the shower and do the rest of your regimen. Like I said, go ahead and dry your hair with the same cloth that I mentioned in part one. You don't have to buy another one. And dry it off if you want to but you don't have to buy another one and then go ahead and wrap it up in your your little turban let it get dry and then after it's about 75 percent dried and you can go ahead and finish the rest of your regimen and i'll be back to show you that in a minute okay that's all for now bye okay hey gals and girls um, I'm back and as you can see my hair is pretty dry. It's about, like I said, 75% dry and it feels wonderful, soft, smells good and now I'm just going to start the next part of my process. So I'm going to put on my gloves like I always do. It's not a necessary part of the process but I do like to do it. I think this helps you not to scratch your scalp and you definitely don't want to do that so now I'm just going to divide my hair into four sections doesn't have to be a perfect section just divide it roughly into four equal sections and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my split ender and this is from Herbal Essence. Let me see if I can get it in focus there. Yeah, so this is from Herbal Essence. And this is just a split ender protectant from the Touchably Smooth collection. And I'm just going to put a little bit 
of that on each at the ends of each section just one or two pumps depending on the thickness of your hair I just rub the rest on the top, whatever's left on the gloves. Uh, hopefully I'm still in focus. Okay, now I'm going to take my leave-in conditioner and I'm using the Suave Professionals Keratin Infusion Salon Proven um, as heat defense leave-in conditioner for frizzy and unmanageable hair. And that's that. And like always, all the products that I've used will be below. So I'm just taking about that much. And I'm going to apply it to this side of my hair. You don't want to put too much of this because you are going to blow dry your hair. So about that much is good on one side. Just make sure you get it all the way through your hair. And now I'm going to do the other side. That much. And what I like to do is after I've gone through both sides is put a little more on the top and the back. So, because I've gone down the length of my hair for the most part, but I want to make sure I get the top and the back of my head. So, not a whole lot, just a little bit, not as much as I put on the rest. And get the back, all the edges, and massage that through. Okay, now I'm going to take my heat protectant and I, for my heat protectant, I'm going to use Tresemme Professionals Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. So I'm going to use this and it comes in a bottle like that. And I'm just going to spray that all over my hair from root to ends. Make sure you get the back of your head as well as the front. Trying not to get it on the camera lens, but doesn't look like I'm being very successful. Make sure you fully saturate your hair in this because 
this is your only heat protectant. I used to apply this all on my hair and then spray it again while I'm straightening my hair, but I felt like that was a little too much and it makes your hair more stiff. Just applying it with your leave-in conditioner and then letting it sit for about 15 to 30 minutes is to me a better solution to that problem. And then you're able to go through your hair a lot faster when you're straightening it. So, whew, now that I've got that all over my hair, I'm massaging it all the way to the scalp. Because again, that's also going to help that leave-in conditioner penetrate your hair and get all the way down from root to end. So after you've done that, then I'm just going to let this sit on my hair. This is how it looks now. You can see that. I'm just going to let this sit on my hair for about 15 to 30 minutes and I will come back, blow dry my hair, and finally flat on my hair. So, I'll be back. 